Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Brad Jr. here, and welcome back to more Eternal Darkness Survival, where in today's episode, I actually kind of have a cool idea that I kind of want to experiment with just a little bit more. But if you don't know what happened in the last episode, we just finished the majority of my base modifications here to make it look a little bit more like a base. Now, I have changed a little bit since the last episode, such as removing these armor blocks above the refineries here. Now, this was suggested to me by one of you guys, who said it probably would look a little bit cooler, uh, as opposed to the awkward armor blocks we had there before, and I admit it did look a little bit silly, so I decided to try it out and I actually kind of like it. Considering the fact that the refineries are already sticking out on this side over here, it's not exactly that big of a leap to have them sticking out on the top either, and I think that looks pretty cool as well. Moving on to the next modification I've added, is I've decided to add glass blocks to the top of this catwalk here. Now I haven't welded them yet, because it actually looks kind of cool how it is, though I might actually try welding it to see uh, the difference and to see if it actually looks any better like that. Now that wasn't the grand idea that I actually had in my mind to do this episode, as I was talking to you guys in the past one, I actually talked about putting an elevator down here for parking or for storage of my uh, drones and whatnot. Now that is kind of cool, but it doesn't really serve much of a purpose other than to kind of hide one away, which would be kind of annoying to grab out uh, if I actually did need it. So what I've decided to do is instead of putting one down there, is to put one over here. Now what this allows me to do is this allows me to get Kara in and out of here to actually grab resources, and I say actually a lot, so I apologize for actually saying actually. Moving on to the elevator again. So my thoughts are to put a piston down here, remove the ground, because this was originally going to be my medical room. However, I can put my medical room basically anywhere. All it is right now is this little medical compartment, and that, like I said, could go even over in there if I wanted to. Or I can go back inside one of these caves here, which I can actually turn into, god damn it, into a medical room back here. Moving on from that, it'll, even back here it could work as well if I drill it out a little bit. But yes, no, my idea, put a piston down here, which then calls up and down an elevator for me to sit Kara on, and then Kara can come in here, grab resources when she needs to, and then fly back out again using said elevator. So that's my idea for this episode, instead of putting an elevator down here, which wouldn't serve any purpose, I'll be putting it up in here. And also this is what it looks like with the current ceiling, I haven't welded any of the glass onto it yet, but I'll let Kara do that in a second anyways. Uh, so if you like that, uh, let me know, and I'll ask you guys again later on if you guys like it with glass on top. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a second, once I... well, I, I want to get Kara doing the uh, glass here, actually I'll do that, I'll do that now. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. Okay, grab Kara. What are you looking at? You're looking at the ground. Of course you are. Kara, please come over here and do a little... little bit of welding. I don't want her to weld the catwalk, though. I could probably just undo, undo that myself. There we go. Very, very delicate right now. Where you to go, Kara? And there should be all but one. Given that I need to actually give it the resources that it needs. Uh. Oh. It's welding down below instead of up above, so I guess I'm out of glass for that. But uh, this is what it looks like with glass on top. Now, this is the right facing glass. Uh, right way facing. Is it? That's not the way you'd say that word. Uh, you guys know what I mean. It is facing outwards, so uh, it's. it's, it's brighter looking out than it is looking in, but uh, what am I missing? I'm actually missing the glass for that. We, we, we're missing one glass, but uh, I can grind this down myself to its original state, which was that, and everything else is perfectly fine. So, let me know guys whether you guys prefer glass on the top or this little thing here, which is like a cross shape. So, unwelded or welded surface. I kind of like the unwelded myself. It feels more like an actual bridge, it, though it does have a, a top on it. But uh, yeah, I'll leave that up to you guys, and now to start making this over here. So, I will probably fast forward yet again, but first I'm going to grab a little bit more energy before I do so. So, I will see you guys in a second.
Okay, so the elevator is now complete. All we have to do is configure it. I might put a sensor on top of it so that when Kara flies over it, or even Timmy, for for example, uh, they can then trigger it so it goes up and down when necessary. Uh, that I might consider doing, just not yet. I just want to make sure it works well enough as it is. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is going in here and finding the piston 2. And this will be the uh, the main room elevator. There we go, main room elevator, and it's the maximum height distance. Considering it's going up three blocks, that will be about eight or so, I think. Or it's either seven point five or eight. I can't quite. No, hang on. Three blocks. That's you know that would be around about eight, I think. So let's try that. Let us go with a slightly higher velocity so that when we stand on it, it should take us up quite quickly. So, let us stand on top of it right now. I forgot I don't really need to uh, do too much to actually access the station here. So, uh, elevator, oops, sorry. Elevator, and I should add a group for this. So, main room elevator. That way the elevators are easier for me to find. Uh, but if I go reverse, it takes us up, and it should take us just up to where we need to go like so, and then Kara can fly off, do whatever she needs to do, and then when she comes back, she'll hover over it, then the elevator will go down, kind of like a door, more so than it is an elevator, though I could just park Kara on top of it and let her take her up when she needs to go up. So let me go inside here and actually see what it looks like from the inside with the elevator up and everything. Am I crouching already? Oh, I am crouching. I was wondering why I was feeling really short then, but uh, there we go, there's the elevator. I should probably steal it off down below. But uh, right now it's not a big problem or anything to be considered. So that's very nice, that's done. Uh, let me see if I can, oh, I can just pull it down like so. Silly me. And I need to grab some energy really quickly as well. But there is the elevator in working. Hey, you like that, Kara? You like that? Yeah? I got, you, I got your own special elevator for you. Your own little door. <laughs> the only... The only reason why I'm considering not putting a sensor on it, and that might mean I'll put one down below, is simply because the thrusters on her down below here could potentially damage it whenever she flies near it. So the one thing I'm thinking I could do is, if I raise it back up again, reverse here, is sticking a sensor right down below this armored block here. That way it has a range Pointing all the way up here. I don't know if it can go that far actually. How far can sensors go? I'd never actually thought about that. Let me quickly just double check here. Sensor, how far do you go in total? That's front of five, so you got to 50 meters. Okay, 50 meters, how far would that be? That would be from here to here is about 10. So yeah, no, it could, it could easily reach. So I, I could put one underneath or I could put one on top. I think underneath will be best just to save damage, but it will involve me having to do a little bit of mining down below there. But I'm pretty sure I can either get squeeze Timmy in, or just use a hand drill and get it out of the way. But uh, there's that done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a door inside here, and that should be good to kind of seal everything off. And think of where to put a medical base. So I might build a medical room either back here by drilling all this out and just having a... So I can basically go all the way back here with the rooms uh, as long as I mine out all this iron here and well I did a, I did kind of start this little project out here which is meant to be just a viewing deck for me but uh, I never got around to finishing it it kind of looks cool out here but very very dark and very grim I might get around to doing it sometime but uh, it not it doesn't serve much of a purpose right now so I haven't really bothered with it let me close that door there Anyway, moving on to the medical room, I will... I'm still thinking if, we, if I should actually put it out here, because it is a little bit too far away. Uh, maybe not too far away. What's, what, what space do I have to work with over here? I know it seems like I'm kind of running around like a headless chicken, and I kind of am for the most part. That there doesn't feel like it's painted right. There we go. And I didn't mean to put you there, sorry. Back here, please. My energy's really low. So yeah, I might put a medical bay behind where all the assemblers are and the elevator just to give it its own room and maybe even since I am building back there clearing off the other side and building myself my own personal room uh, 
just kind of away from everything and that'd be kind of cool. So the great energy is at maximum. Then let's try that actually. Let's 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 try that. So I'm going to be mining out all of this behind here and basically covering it up to make it into its own little room. And it might even be connected uh, via the connectors at the back here. So fast forwarding yet again, I will see you guys in a second. I should say that this is one reason why I love having drones, and that is the fact that they are so tiny. They can literally get into wherever I need them to get into with no worries at all, and just having Kara to be able to do a lot of this room here simply by being able to fly through the small gap I left her is really, really cool. That's why I love using using drones now. I don't think I'll ever go back. I, I should ask you guys that. Now that we have these drone capable ships, would you ever go back to using anything other than them? You know, such as the Firefly. Like, right now, like, the Firefly, whilst it's a good ship and I kind of like it, I don't really find it practical. Not in a survival world like this. I, I think I much prefer... I don't know, it, it's, hard, it's hard to say, it's hard to explain what exactly I mean and what I'm talking about here. But I... They're just so much more efficient. They they don't cost as much fuel or anything like that. And I don't know. They're just all around awesome. Honestly, I don't know. I just really do like them. So right now we're coming up on finishing our medical room here. We just have to put down a few more uh, steel plates to get this room sealed up. And I forgot about that ceiling. I don't know how or why. Does that have all the blocks? It does too. Okay, I must have just left that how it was. 
Uh, anyway, there we go. So now I'm going to put in a few lights, a few more walls here and there, and then that should be... Uh, should be bacon. Uh, let me grab out this few blocks here. We don't need too much. Just a little bit to do that there. And then that there, that there, and then... Oh, I guess I can do that. Yeah, that, that, that's fine enough. And then we'll stick in a few lights. Do I have enough to put down lights? Yes, indeed I do. So let me grab some of the lights from here and just stick them in here. Now I'm thinking of going with a blue lit room. Just something simple, but uh, you know, kind of kind of nice looking. So the last three lights here. Let me quickly uh, weld these up here. Just, to, just to kind of like a, a white light, but very dimly with, with like a blue color on top of it. I think that's what I'm going with here. I think that'll look really cool. Uh, so that's all that done. I think there's just that one there that needs more and then that one there. Okay, cool. So yeah, well then this up, and I'll change the color of the lights, and we should be good. Now the medical bay is up and running, meaning uh, nothing too bad can happen to me now. Uh, let me access this room quickly and go back to the bottom interior lights. So what I'm talking about is going just slightly down here and slightly down here. Not, not too much, just enough to give it that kind of bluishy tint to it. So let's have a look at that with my light off. So there we go, a, a nice... Actually, I think that nice blue light would look good with uh, Kara's on it. Uh, Kara's orange light throughout the rest of my base. I just need to make sure I don't change the bridge lights or the runway lights. But as long as I... Actually, I wonder if that's a thing I can do. Can you deselect objects? So if I go light... Because I have all the lights here. If I select all... Hang on. If I select all of them, but then untick them... Ah, I can do that. That is great. But that still leaves that them ticked. I don't know, I don't like that. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so you're basically the same orange anyway. So, how would I select everything but not them? That's what I was hoping to do. I was hoping that by unselecting them, I would unselect the ones down here. Uh, sadly, that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, well, let's, let's just go with that anyway. Let's go with a slight bluey tinge to everything and see how that looks. Looks kind of icy. Uh, and let's go back to using the orange light on the other things as well. So we go lights here, runway and bridge will have their normal colours of course. Don't want to change them around too much, there we go. So now everything has a coldish type, well maybe that's a little bit too strong, I think I might have to tone that down in a second here. I just want to get, get a quite quick look at everything whilst it has that light going on. I think that might be a little bit too cold, I think. I think going a little bit lighter would be better in, in this instance. It doesn't look bad, just makes everything look a little bit too cold. And I'm, I wasn't going for cold, I was just going for a nice, nice, comfortable uh, colour here. Uh, let's, let's just go back to being a little bit brighter, shall we? There we go, that's a little better, a li little, little nicer. I mean, there's the, a whole bunch of different colours you can go with now that we've got custom colours available to us. That's probably one of the best additions they've done in this game, is custom colours. <laughs> okay, so that's all back to normal now. There we go. So you're doing your same old light. I need to add more lighting everywhere. I keep saying that, but I uh, haven't gotten around to doing it just yet. But there we go. So that is today's episode. I still need to weld up those little blocks there, but I'll do that in my own time. And I'll probably add a door here as well. So now we have a medical bay, but that shall leave this episode here. Uh, let me know what you guys think about whether having these cross sections here like this, unwalled the glass blocks, or whether you prefer glass blocks here. So let me know with that as well. And would you ever go back to using normal ships as opposed to using drones? Let me know your advantages and disadvantages and why you, you have picked what you have picked. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome, everyone.